Hey everybody, how is everybody doing today? Hope everybody is well. Life is absolutely beautiful. Um, just want to come on and share a little bit of um, some stuff I've been going through. Maybe you guys have some words for me, um, but uh, if not, that's okay too. But I just wanted to share this moment because I felt like Spirit was really speaking a lot to me, um, trying to break through some walls and some issues that I've been going through and shine some light on some vulnerability issues that I have been um, going through myself. You know, being vulnerable is very, um, it's hard. It's hard when we become, we, we feel we feel like, oh boy, what's happening to us? What's going on? What's happening? Um, it, it's about letting that guard down and being really authentic and just feeling all these emotions. And that can really get to us sometimes. And this was one of those days where it really got to me. Um, I'm just going to read what is written because, you know, as I, as I, do things. I'm a, I'm a writer, guys, so I, we've talked about this before. There's no need to explain. But um, it's uh, really amazing how spirit works, how the perfect timing is always known in things. You know, when we want something and it just doesn't happen right then, you know, the timing is always perfect. And that also means with some of the lessons that we're learning and some of the things we're realizing about ourselves, that also comes in at the perfect timing too. So there is no mistakes. And I'm not speaking about this from a place of hurt. This has been a couple of days ago that this has happened. So I've already gone through the emotion, released it, allowed it to be, and just accepted it in love because that was pretty much the easiest thing for me to do. And it was to realize that nothing is happening to me nothing is it, it's not that it's only that if I make it that so anyway uh you see there was just something getting to me and this like I said it was a couple of days ago something I could not let go it began a series of events and I must say looking back a lot of energy used and not used and I mean it was used and it was purposely used in exactly the way it was meant to occur so this isn't a complaint guys this is just re it's sharing an event okay so don't think of me as complaining here or reliving it or still being in the moment because I'm not but um the energy could have been used a whole lot differently, but of course, like I said, it was meant to be. Neither though, I must say, at one moment I felt joy and understanding, the next it felt as if I had been hit with a rock from behind. Like this one action of another person was beginning to ping all these dense emotions, just as our thoughts sometimes do. I was getting in my way, again. And you guys know what that means. You know, we get in our way a lot. We find ourselves putting our foot in our mouth. We find ourselves trying to pull ourselves over here. We want to go there and we're distracted. Man, we really, we really do get in our way. And it's about admitting, hey, I got in my way, you know. And I, I'm seeing it. And although it's not a mistake, the getting in the way, the lesson that you learn by getting in your own way is meant to be. But it's about realizing, hey, I'm getting in my way. I get it. I get it. I'm, I'm standing in the uh, wish I'm standing I'm the one obstruction to my own growth when I'm getting in my way all the time anyway actually there has been a couple of things going on lately with family normal stuff but not so normal like role reversals as though there may be an underlying emotion causing this trigger there were no attachment or issues from my perception I wasn't looking very deep Anyway, I'm just going to share this little story and maybe it may touch someone who out there who is going through this question of the self, this emotion of vulnerability. So enjoy and I love you. Anyway, here's the story. Yesterday, my husband and I were talking about our day and all we had done. I normally have the usual morning rituals, homework, work with the church, outreach, and then of course writing. And this day, though, was a little different. I had extra time. I had plenty of time to sit down, turn on the TV, which I normally don't do. But hey, so I started to watch YouTube of a few speakers I love to listen to. This time was a bit different. I heard my words, but it wasn't my voice. Now, when I say I heard my words, I heard something very similar to things I had been said recently, which, of course, is telling you, hey, this is, this is an alignment. This is, this is an alignment for you. And I went ahead and tuned in. And as I started to tune in, I actually had to turn it off halfway through because I wanted my husband to hear it. And it's like, you see, I usually write every day and I share writings and I move to share. Some being channel message, some being not, some being started as my personal thought and then ending in a channel and message and come back to personal thought. So I know the thoughts were meant to be shared. 
That's not the problem here. This video triggered me. That was the problem. It was me being allow allowing myself to be triggered. I allowed it to bug me, to begin to play over and over, no matter the amount of no, I didn't. Yes, I did. Energy comes in for a reason, and it came in for this time to clear that fear, that thought of being unseen. You know what I mean? The fear of being taken advantage of, the fear of someone taking my work, the fear of, oh my goodness, it's I'm not going to be able to do this, or oh my goodness, it, you know, it's that fear. It's always been there. Now it's being felt and being seen to clear. The hidden emotion, the trigger, the illusion to the illusion. The healing, I silently saw it. Healing, which was what held me back. The being, being vulnerable to being seen. Being open to other people. I, mean, I wanted healing from that fear. So here it was. The first lesson I realized was that I did not have ownership of the words they were meant to be shared. Second, to let it go. You see, the video was another couple, and the words and the title and the message were the same with different words and a different flair, and even the cat had the same name. I was like, what the flip? The thoughts can certainly run amok. Of course, because it was bugging me, I had to bring it attention to my husband. You know, we always have to reach outside to get that outside, hey, back me up, dude, I need some help here. Anyway, I needed that other human's emotion to get involved, to agree with me. I needed backup. Confirmation, of course, he said, wow. <laughs> Like I expected, how dare he would disagree? No, really, he did. I, I knew he would agree with me. And so I asked him, and of course he did. I must say before I go on, this is some synchronicity stuff that we have going on in the air. It's like, what in the world? So it really, you know, it trigger emotions in me, which I'm very thankful that it did. But it's realizing this energy of synchronicity that we're all hearing and these messages that we're all sharing. There's some truth, loves. There's some truth. Like I said, I went through these emotions, which, by the way, hindsight took more energy to go through than the unfolding of the emotions connected to the root emotion. But then again, I had to. You see, it was more than just one level deep, love. Things go many, many, many levels deep. And this went many levels deep. And it had to come up. It was actually something that had occupied and had had. Cause, been causing problems for me in my life my entire life and I didn't even realize it I was afraid I was scared anyway first I wanted to feel angry because you know the feeling I thought I was being copied like I felt 10 again I knew what I had to do to drop that emotion or it was going to eat me up inside I had to learn how to embrace that emotion to love it to clear it to honor it to really see it to hug that child and let it go bringing in the shadow before I even had a chance to think of anything else or even have another thought about anything else it was just overcoming me it became that dark shadow looming over behind you that you see you know when we don't let things just go it was as if it was going to take me over if I didn't get a grip I sat down and I really thought about it and I got this message the words are being heard it doesn't matter how they're being shared or who's saying them as long as they're being heard that's what counts the answer was to transmute the energy that I was feeling to just let love be the energy energy that I chose to be in the messages are being heard and that's what counts this took some doing to get through and thought really to go through I even picked up the phone and did as most humans do I called my mom for inspiration as mine was lagging I felt I was feeling victimized my mother, being the beautiful woman that she is, inside and out, she had the words I needed. I am so grateful to her as she spoke these beautiful words that touched my heart. During this again, the lower energy was still there. Tapping on my shoulder and whispering what ifs in my ear. What if you did this? What if you did that? What if you did this? You know what I'm talking about. You know, humans have these moments when the ego is off balance and trying to run the show. The thoughts really just disappear, just appear to beat up, beat you up inside. They appear to, to ask you to do things that you normally wouldn't do, you know, to go and to, um, to, to say things and to do things that stop or hinder another person or even hurt another person or even look like they could remotely hurt another person, which isn't normally in your alignment to do. You know, we start doing those things and I was beginning to see that that was where this could possibly go if I allowed this to continue. 
You see, what that's doing, my mother reminded me of, is it's pulling. These distractions are pulling your attention away. Pulling you away from your intention. That extra thought, that squirreling of the mind, the babbling in the back of your head, the knocking on the one shoulder, playing the story over and over and over again so you can remember it. It's pulling you away from your attention to your authenticity and it's pulling you away from the work that you're doing. Pulling you out of the alignment and there's a reason. Don't get me wrong. There is a reason. There's never a mistake. Just know the outside stuff picked up along the way combined with the stuff we tell ourselves, that which we choose to believe keeps you from really knowing you. But again, all is necessary to move you to where you are now. All is a lesson, part of the journey. When we find ourselves pulled away from our work to sink more into the density of the plethora of human emotions, it's for our growth, for your growth. It is your choice to stay there or here or there. The emotions rise because the moment you locked yourself into not really seeing that bigger picture of that moment, that is really happening, the story could continue too. I mean, we do that. We lock ourselves in and then we go around and lock everybody else into it. Like I had to go tell my husband. I had to have his back up. So the story could continue and be told across the board, the cashier, the stranger in line. You begin telling everyone your problem, even even some of us, we come here and we talked about it. But like I said, you know, I've gone through this. I just wanted to share it. And I, I'm not asking anybody to put energy to any of this, please. Except for the love. That is, that is, that is, that is the mission. The love is to anchor. Oh, you can hold on as long as you like to anything. The story I kept repeating in my head was, wow, what did they do to me? I became the victim. I alone controlled my emotions. I allowed the words of golly gee, everything I said, repeating over and over and over in my head. And the, oh my goodness, the dog. And I did this so many days ago. All of this is going through your head. But in reality, message is being heard was the whole point. I had to get over it that, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it doesn't matter in this now moment. By the way, the words aren't even the wor my words. The words don't belong to me as the words are channeled through me. They come from an ancient energy. The words just come, so it's okay, and it's not them doing anything to me. We're all working in alignment with one another in synchronicity, so the messages do sound similar. I just had to know it wasn't being done to me. But showing me, it was showing me the alignment. And my ego mind didn't want to see the alignment. The victim that was still residing within didn't want to see that alignment. I wanted to see the lower energy of it because that's part of this push-pull battle we're going through right now is that dark and light energy. It, anyway, it was a showing me to assist me in letting go of all that has held me back. The fears, the thought that keeps humans spiraling. No, it is well with my soul. Wow, it just feels good. As a beautiful presence has come into the room, just, just started shaking things up, releasing the childhood emotion attached to this old energy. Because really acknowledging that you are an always evolving, you are a beautiful balance, full of love and compassionate being. Yes, I dived into density and it, I felt it. I got upset and I did all these human things, but wow, when you really clear that out of there and you don't hinder it and you don't pack it away and hold on to it, you just clear it out and send it on, releasing it. Well, it just feels really good to share that information with you today, to share this with you today, loves. As all of this was closing, I felt moved to do something I love to do. It's a form of divination. I like to pick up books or if I have books sitting around me and I've got something on my mind, I like to just pick the first one I touch. And you know, many of them were there. I had the Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita. I had a couple of other um, spirituality books. I had a Bible sitting there. I had some tarot sitting there. The first thing I reached for was the Bible because that's what I was drawn to because there's no, um, we don't discriminate here. The words of spirit or words of spirit the words of our ascended masters are words of our ascended masters and ancient texts are there to learn by. Granted, we might not agree with everything that is said, but they are there to learn by. So, as I, and we can all have our own opinion on that, but that's mine. I honor all things. I honor all things. So you pick up the book that's sitting in there in front of you. And I picked up mine, of course. The first one I picked up was the Bible. And my question was, 
the writings? Am I meant to share these with others? Am I meant to share these words? Or is this something maybe I'm understanding, I'm in alignment with another energy, and I'm simply hearing the message, and I'm understanding the quest, and I'm seeing their quest, and trying to integrate it as my quest. So I want to make sure, I want to feel what I was doing, because I know I'm, I know in my heart, the messages are meant there, there to be shared, no matter what my inner doubt was at the moment. But the message I opened up gave me a feeling of peace, and it cleared my doubt. I opened it up in the first page, first verse, was John 20, 21. Ironically enough, 2021 synchronicity, like really did I need more confirmation. The verse read as this, and this was from my Zondervan New, New Study Bible. John 20, 21, Jesus said, Peace be with you, as the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And I had to think about it for a minute, and I had to read it again and again and again. And those are the words that I heard that cleared it for me and explained it to me. This says that you, not just you or I or you, but all who have been called to service are sent to share these words. And that not just means those in Christian service. That doesn't mean those in one race, one religion or the other. It's all who are called in service to share these words. Then it goes on to say in verse 22, and please don't get me as anti-Christian because I'm not. I was raised in a Christian home and I have a multiple belief system. So let me give you that little bit of backing. So please, no judgment here. Then it goes on to say in verse 22, and with that, he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit, receive and accept the gift that which is given by spirit. The message also allows to follow through to the energy in the next verse of holding that grudge, not sharing that forgiveness or allowing ourselves to be hindered by outside thoughts of another that you personally are holding on to. It goes on to say in the verse 23 of John, if you forgive another his sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Some would ask, well, does that say I have the power to forgive as God? You do have the power to forgive. All beings do. In, in doing so, you also release the attachment to the other person or persons. You free yourself and you free them. The Bible repeats over and over how humans have been given these same gifts along with the Bhagavad Gita, along with the many other very beautiful scriptures and texts. I mean, books of Toth, all these things share this with you. The gift is the ability to love no matter the situation, to love so unconditionally to anchor love and forgiveness and healing through the compassion that you hold for others also experiencing life as it is. Not about how it's going to be or how it was, but how it is. It's about opening up to that knowledge and believing it. You are one with the light. You are one with the light, my loves, one with the light, accepting the gift, the divine connection you carry to God's source, spirit, the higher self, goddess, Buddha, divine, all of the ascended masters. You are connected to all of this. And this is where you find those answers, the solutions to life you search for. It's all within through your connectedness, through your connectedness all as this message in this channel so beautifully shares love is key through understanding of your connection and the relationship with all that is enlightenment does occur the words again from jesus ascended master where peace be with you as the father has sent me i am sending you as a channel the words are never owned only shared it's empowering to know that forgiveness of what you feel is happening to you at this moment or that the forgiving of what is hurting you relies on you. Anyone can stay in anger, stay in vulnerability and hurt and hold on to it. Being vulnerable, yes, but we don't have to hold on to the hurt. You can build this mountain of emotions that hinders progress or you can release, release the chains that hold you back. Forgive the thought that needs to be forgiven in our perception. Forgive others, forgiving them for the action that we believe they have done to us or about us or around us. As nothing is done to anyone, it is all for you. All is in the highest of intention and alignment. All in divine love. Always. We love you so much. Namaste. 
So I must say that ended up being much longer than expected. I'm going to close for now. Just had, just had to share this beautiful channel and message of forgiveness. Again, peace be with you as the beautiful Ascended Master had said. I love you so very much. This has been Tammy. Namaste.